just before the video starts make sure you go and check out my website ystech.org this is the place where you're going to be finding the latest news and everything great in technology from reviews to tutorials and much more so make sure you go check it out in the description ystech.org i'll see you there Hey guys, it is Wise from Wise Tech here, and today we're going to be looking at how to optimize League of Legends for low end PCs. Um, now, I'm just warning you guys, this is a little bit of a long tutorial, so there should be a TLDR scrolling across your screen right now, and it will be in the description as well if you guys don't want to watch the video. So, let's go ahead and check out what we need to do. So, first of all, just make a restore point. So, just go ahead uh, into your Windows icon, click on it, and just type in restore point and click on create a restore point. Okay, so once you're in here and uh, just press configure and make sure system protection is on. So just press create and uh, just type in the date and what we're doing. Press create. Okay, cool. So we've got this all done. So I'm just going to check it. It's actually here. And cool. It's right here, League Optimize, and we're just going to kiss cancel. So let's head off into the tutorial really quickly. So first of all, um, if you've got League and you're going to play the game, I hope you guys have realized this already. So go to your task manager and close off any unnecessary uh, programs that you have open. On a, on a low-end computer, you're definitely going to want to close off anything like that. So press con Control shift escape and task manager will open up. So uh, make sure you close up all of those programs. So for me, I probably close off OneNote. So I'm just going to go here and press end task. And well, I'd end off uh, Chrome and Discord, but we'll get to that in a bit. If you guys can't, then uh, you can't. But if you guys have a low amount of RAM, then don't keep that on. So um, our next thing, what we're going to do here is we're going to go over and uh, to your League of Legends game. Up into a League of Legends game, just go on a practice call quick, really quick. Okay, cool. So the game's opening up, and I, I hope you guys uh, uh, have the client open as well. So if you don't, just make sure you have the client open. And uh, you just want to go to your task manager again. And as you can see here, we have two processes running. So uh, League of Legends, and we have some other files running. So all you want to do here is you want to scroll down. Just press L for League. And just go here and right-click it. Press uh, Go to Details. And then as you can see here, we've got four things running. So uh, click on League of Legends, the game. Uh, this is the game we launched. I'm just saying this because that's the game. So set priority and set it to high. So the changing the priority will give the uh, maximum amount of CPU power to the game apparently. And uh, well, you can put it on for the client as well. Personally, I do it because it's uh, quite handy when the client's acting up a little bit. So as you can see there, we've done that. And uh, you can turn it on for these ones, but I'm not really sure if that actually affects anything. So I'm just going to go here and close out a league uh, for now, and we'll come back into the game in a second. So there's some other things we can do outside of league, and besides turning down the settings as well, uh, which I'll get to soon. Uh, and it's also on task manager. So uh, this one, what we want to do here is you just want to go over to task manager, and uh, you just want to open it up again. Uh, control shift escape. Uh, press start up. And you just close off anything that is unnecessary here. So I've only got uh, three things enabled and one of them I don't need. So Mega Sync, I definitely don't need. So just press disable here. That's really easy. And to just see um, if it's enabled or disabled, just press status and you'll be able to see that really easily. So I've only got dash lane, which I really need uh, as a startup program. And uh, yeah, well, you can restart your computer here if you really want to, or we can come back uh, in a second and do that restart soon. So uh, the fifth thing you want to be doing is you want to cl clean up any uh, uh, files on your computer. They're going to be taking up extra space. I found that um, on an SSD especially, um, the less space you have, the less performance you gain out of your system generally. And I've come across this issue actually several times, especially on my laptops. So what you want to do for that is you just want to search up uh, Windowsstat in Google. I'll leave the link in the description. Just install it and what we're going to do here is type in Windowsstat and open the program up. It's actually really, really good at visualizing um, 
your files so after a while you'll get a makeup of your files here and it's going to be showing you your best file uh, your biggest files here so you'll be able to delete things you don't really need to and just be careful with this program you're going to be able to delete this stuff that you usually wouldn't be able to through uh, normal windows explorer um i know that for sure because you can delete the stuff permanently and it won't come back it won't go into recycling bin. so just be a bit wary when you're doing stuff like this so you know um uh, just temporary files as well you can install a uh, ccleaner i'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that i'll leave that in the description i can have an old really old tutorial on how to use ccleaner uh you literally just press one button analyze and boom all your uh, stupid temporary files are gone so uh yeah i'll leave you guys with that and uh, i'll let this guy build up and i will come back to it in a second um but yeah it's, it's super easy to navigate you just go to users or whatever and you search through any files that are really large it's going to be uh, showing your file size here so i'm going to delete um nothing at the moment because i'm personally fine with my size of my drive so uh whatever but you guys probably really need to do this uh delete some files here and it'll be good to go also you want to clear up your desktop you see my desktop here is disgustingly large um uh just go ahead and go boom and right click it and delete it because that's going to be slowing you down like crazy i found on my laptop it was kind of the sixth thing you want to do is you probably want to go to your C drive. You want to open that up, just boom there. And now you're going to go into Riot Games and you're going to go into League of Legends and you're going to find the game file. So that's, this is where your game is actually stored for the League game, not the client. And what you're going to want to do here is run, you want to right click that, press properties and you're going to want to press compatibility and you're going to click uh, override high DPI scaling behavior and just click uh, application that's fine and then and then you want to go down here and press uh, change settings for all users and once you're on change setting for all users you want to click here override high DPI scaling behavior for application that's fine you know, press OK and uh, then apply and then OK and then it'll be all done for that one okay so uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go into our power options so what we want to do for that one is you just want to go over here and search uh, power uh, and then it should come up with edit power plan and no there's not much difference between a laptop and a desktop uh, in terms of the settings we're going to change but you want to go here it says edit power settings so i'm just going to go here to power options and just select high performance by default and we're going to go through some settings and uh, what we're going to change here so let's change setting plan and then press uh, change advanced power settings so this one is a little bit tedious to be honest so um hard disk uh, turn off uh just type in zero here press whoops <laughs> type in zero here and it should cut minimize it and open it up again it should come up with zero and now you want to go over to desktop background and we're going to click available and then click it on pause and we want to scroll down and wireless uh, adapter savings uh, turn on maximum performance USB settings this is just for uh, when you're playing the game I found I've had problems on a laptop when using a wireless mouse that sometimes cuts out and this is one of the problems USB selective settings uh, put it on uh, disabled uh, so you don't want it to suspend the USB randomly and uh, then we want to come down here and we want to PCI express uh link state power management just turn it off here and now we're going to go to power management uh minimum setting just type in 100 and then click off it and then go here to maximum processor state 100 as well and uh, maximum cooling policy is active as well uh change it off um, passive so you want to do all of that you want to click apply then okay and then just close out of that so next, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to your desktop and well, hopefully you have a NVIDIA graphics card so you can follow along with this. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on my desktop. I'm going to press NVIDIA control panel. Um, now I actually have an AMD graphics card as well, but not on this computer. So I'm not really sure how to do it on an AMD card or an Intel, but uh, integrated graphics on Intel. But um, you guys should be able to follow along with us. So I have a GDX 1050. This is a temporary build for now. And what we're going to do here is adjust image settings uh, with preview. Just put on performance. And then we're going to go over here to manage 3D settings. So this one's also a little bit tedious. But uh, let's go ahead and go through it one by one. So 
uh, you can leave image and all of this stuff. So I just want you guys to turn off some uh, stuff here. So you want to turn off vertical sync. Just scroll down, it will be there. And you want to turn off uh, anti-aliasing. It should be up. Again, anti-aliasing gamma correction. Uh, I've had mine on. So just turn off all the anti-aliasing ones because maybe your graphics card can't handle it. I'm just going to turn mine back on because I know it can. And um, then we're going to go into CUDA and we're going to find CUDA. So that's CUDA cores on a NVIDIA graphics card exclusively. And you want to click all and make sure that's checked. Press OK. And now we want to uh, try max frame rate. So max frame rate, um, well, I have it off because that's a bit silly, but you can try it on if you want to as well. And um, you can try as well uh, power management uh, from to maximum performance. So you can see management power management mode here. I'm going to change that to prefer maximum performance because, uh, well, you want maximum performance. <laughs> you can turn off shader cache. You can uh, just mess around with some of these settings and see if they're going to work or not. But sometimes, um, you know, like it doesn't actually have too much of an impact. So uh, two more things is texture filtering uh, from quality. You want to turn that down to high performance. Uh, click that there and it should be set. So I'm just going to set mine back because I know it can and uh, make sure it's on performance. And then also you want to turn off vertical sync. And yeah, well, just play around with these settings, you guys. I know it's a bit tedious, um, but you are working with some uh, pretty low end stuff, so we just haven't have to deal with the step by step, right? Uh, so yeah, not too bad so far. So um, now, so you want to disable uh, things like Discord, Lowers, uh, hardware acceleration, uh, Xbox Game Bar. So I'm just gonna go into Discord here, and um, well, we want to turn off the overlay. Obviously, I hope you guys don't have that on, and uh, turn off the Discord overlay. So now we're gonna head over to Appearance. And uh, you want to uh, disk unclick uh, hardware acceleration and it will restart Discord. So once you've done that, um, you can just turn off settings in the Xbox game bar and things like that. So you, now you want to go to your Windows settings and just type in uh, settings. So, okay, so you can see a, a little one called here called uh, gaming. And uh, well, you want to click here. Uh, Record games and clips. Just turn it off on Gamever. Open Gamever. Just just turn all this rubbish off. And uh, yeah, we'll we're pretty set here. So uh, nothing else we need to change. So that's pretty much it for the Windows uh, game bar. So yeah, well now we're getting over to the League of Legends side. So bit of a long tutorial guys sorry about this so now we're gonna go over to the League of Legends client open that back up or well if you hope it open before hopefully and I uh, just click the settings icon here and click enable low spec mode and click close client during game and I also found that changing the window size to a smaller size uh, like this actually helped a lot in champion select I know it's a little bit hard to see but um, it, it really helps with load times into a game lobby. So enable those and press done when you're done with that. So yeah, we'll, we'll get into a game of League of Legends and we'll show you some of the settings you should use. Well, I mean, you guys have probably already done this and to be honest, a lot of other tutorials didn't co cover the stuff that I did. Um, in the previous things I just, in the previous yeah, steps. So, I mean, this is kind of the obvious stuff, but you know, it's sometimes it's not. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead into a game of League of Legends and uh, see what we can change. So what we can do in League of Legends is we can press escape and go over to the video tab. And first of all, I'm gonna talk about resolution. You can turn your resolution down if you want to, um, but put it to a comfortable size. It, it does actually help quite a bit. I found especially on older, older laptops or things that aren't really capable. And uh, yeah, just turn your resolution down to a comfortable size that you enjoy.
uh, just be aware that sometimes uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> so you want to change your uh, windowed mode to full screen and uh, turn off eye candy. Uh, so hide eye candy. So click that and the colorblind blur doesn't matter. And then what you want to do here is uh, drag your graphic setting right to very low. Um, untick character inking. Um, also play around with this graphic setting. I've actually found that sometimes uh, some of these settings on actually higher settings makes League of Legends run better, so it's a bit uh, odder in my opinion. It just it just happens sometimes on some machines, they just work like that. So now we're down at uh, frame rate and we're just going to click uncapped and untick anti-aliasing and wait for vertical sync. Um, now so you can change around with uh, frame rate cap because I've actually found that sometimes putting it on a cap like 120 or 144 um, actually is better than uncap because sometimes it dips really hard with um, with uncap and sometimes stutters which is kind of disgusting when you're playing the game especially when you need to have a fluid game like League of Legends so we've done all of that so you can press OK and uh, it should uh, change your game a little bit it should look like absolute awful but that's all good uh, it's not lagging as hard so now we can press escape again and this is a last resort right here and um, what happens sometimes is the sound actually affects League of Legends and you can just press disable all sounds here and uh, I actually found on my old Dell Inspiron 2009 uh, laptop this actually helped quite a bit because like it can barely run League but disabling sound seems to help it especially with the frame rate. So just press OK here and you won't be able to hear anything. I mean, you're not missing out too much in League. You just got to pay attention more to the game. So, I mean, if none of this worked, uh, I'd consider upgrading your computer or your laptop, uh, maybe with a new graphics card or uh, SSD or some more RAM. Uh, usually RAM is not an issue in my personal experience. But sometimes it is, if you got 4 gigs and upgrading to 8, that might be a considerable difference. But 8 to 16, um, in a game of League of Legends, probably not. <laughs> Unless you're running all those uh, programs in the background like I told you you shouldn't, but uh, stuff happens. And uh, yeah, well obviously on the laptop you can't really upgrade much other than RAM. And in some cases, uh, uh, in older laptops maybe, and... Uh, CPU or something like that. Also one thing to consider for laptops is an external GPU that might actually help you. Um, you can plug in the graphics card into the uh, small 1x PCIe uh, lane into all laptops or some laptops support uh, Thunderbolt or UT USB Type-C and you can get a nice graphics card dock. They're a bit expensive. You can plug your graphics card in there and you'll be able to play your games really nicely. Um, now, if all comes to worse, you can't do that, you have me. So, um, make sure you go and build a PC with some of my coolest advice. Hopefully it's good. I, I try to make them as good as possible. And uh, you can check out ystech.org. I've got some pretty cool um, build guides. Oh, not build guides. PC part picker guides right now. And hopefully I'll do a small build guide soon uh, in terms of actually building a computer. Because news deals, PC builds, and you can see all the PCs that are, I've done so far, you can go to my channel as well and search that. So that about sums up the video, quite a long video to be honest, but uh, yeah, hopefully that helped you guys, and uh, make sure you check out YS Tech World for the latest post reviews and much more every Wednesday, I'll see you guys there at ystech.org, and uh, hopefully I'll be streaming again soon because uh, my house got destroyed, but... Uh, and the internet connection is not so great anymore at the uh, place I'm staying at right now. But uh, eventually we'll start streaming again at twitch.tv slash Mazita. And hopefully see some more mediocre RE gameplay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, make sure you guys uh, have an awesome day. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.